Go ahead. You want to make, make the introduction? Hey, we got we got the man himself, the sugar man. Sweet love. Sweet love. It's not, it's not, it's not sweet love. Sugar man. Talk to him. Let's we got my man, Sugar, Sh- sugar Shane Jr. Shane Mosley Jr. is okay, on the young, show. Young, handsome. Yeah. The going? sugar man. Yeah. What's up, man? Oh, look at this dude. He, hey, he always looking <laughs> suave. I know. You in your room, man. You put the extra always, girl in. Come on, man. You, you now have to do your hair, bro. Yeah, he in the closet. closet. Put his, put his extra girl in. Yeah. Leave me alone, fellas. Hey, Stay he's on. like, hey, 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 wifey, get the, get the beard. The beard good? The beard good? <laughs> she combed you out before you came on? She combed you combed out. You out. <laughs> <laughs> now I did it myself. I actually shaved before before this, man. Oh, I was like, man, I'm going on the Porter Potterway Porter podcast. Yeah, yeah, you good? You got anything hey, listen, coming up? I'm 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 excited about about what's coming up for you. Uh, you got a big fight coming up. Um, I don't know. Have you officially made the announcement? It's been announced. Uh, yeah, it's been announced. Um, Golden Boy announced it um, a couple days ago. So Gabe yeah. Rosado. Gabe Rosado. Yeah, you got a nice one coming up, man. Yes, I told you I threw text, man. I like this fight for both of y'all. I think this is a really good fight for TV, wherever it is, man. I think it's uh it's a fight that's gonna challenge you. And yeah. uh and, and definitely you go you definitely gonna challenge Gabe as well. So I'm looking forward to it. How's how's training so far? Oh training's going uh, great, man. Um uh, got some good sparring in and and uh it was it was a I guess a last minute fight, but uh I mean nevertheless when opportunities like this Come man, you can't pass them up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard uh, Dad is in, is in the uh, is in the training camp. Uh, yeah, he, he's he's been uh, he's been coming down, just showing support, you know. So he came down for like a couple of days last week, and came down this past week uh, for a couple of days, and just Very good. supporting and, and uh, making sure, you know, just. I'm, I, yeah, I feel him. <laughs> hey, hey, he's looking out. He's looking out for his baby, man. He's looking out for his boy. I, I, I get it. I thought. I thought Dad was taking over head trainer. No, I thought no, Dad no. was stepping up, getting that Mosley training car back in promotions. <laughs> no, uh, not right now. Did Did your dad ever kind of trip out on the rhythm that you fight with? The fact that you got the same kind of bouncing rhythm, like was that natural, or or do you have that rhythm because he showed you how to fight that way? Um, I think that that's a, a natural. Just he don't even know what you're talking about. He, no, that's how natural. You were talking it, it, about it last week, Sean. I know, because I, I know, yeah, but yeah, yeah. he does it. He just like, uh, yeah. Nah, yeah. I, what, what rhythm is that? Like, is that's is that unique? You know what I mean? Is that in him to just do it? Yeah, it's a very jittery, it's a very jittery rhythm, and like I said, like it's something that I think is just kind of in my brain. <laughs> like, yeah. it's like it's just like that jitter. Like it's just there, man. I, I can't help it. <laughs> You know, Shane, we got a very tight knit family of boxing. We have we're a boxing family, we're friends, and we're all family. Yep. We told Sean uh, before the uh, Crawford fight, Shane, this is the one, man. This is the one. It's just like Sean. This is the one. You got. We got to get this one, Shane. Yeah. This is this, uh, just. Hey, keep it on it, soldiers. I felt like you turned it up in the last fight for no reason in the second half of the fight, and I felt like you was dominating. But yeah. I felt like when you turned it up, you lacked on the defense. That's what I felt like in the last fight. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree with you. Um, I, I, I lost my, if I'm honest with myself, I lost my head. I should have maintained um, that poise like I had in the first part of the fight. Mm-hmm. And it would have been a much easier fight and uh, a lot more dominant. But yeah. because I was allowing him to land shots and and kind of um, get in, you know, make it look like he was in the fight, um, he was able to take over. Yeah, how you- was that? Go ahead, SP. I was gonna say, do do you revisit that, or have you revisited that that fight uh, anymore, or have you just moved on? Like, hey, that's that's what I did wrong. I'm not gonna do it again. But you know, have you uh, you know revisited that fight again before this fight? Yes, you have to. Yeah. You have yeah. to uh, because if you don't if you don't change the mistakes that you've made, and and you don't at least try to even think about making the adjustment or think about doing something different, then you're gonna make the same mistakes. Yeah. So uh, with that being said, yes, I have looked at it. It's it, it's it's hard. <laughs> it's yeah. definitely hard to be like <laughs> where I messed up at and be honest with yourself. Like, this is where you messed up. But if you don't, if you can't do that, then you can't win. You can't yeah. truly win. Yeah. You know, so, um, you know, I, I have. And this is the this next fight coming up is the biggest fight of my career. So I have to do whatever I can to 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 be prepared to 
win. I was gonna say one one more for me, Carson. My bad. Yeah. Like, okay. Do y'all talk about that in camp? Like, hey, this is this is it, or is it kind of like, hey, this is we just gonna go through it like it's like it's another fight? Like, do um, y'all amongst yourselves have you had the conversation of it's now or or never? No, we haven't had that conversation. Um, I don't think that that's appropriate, but that's something that I put in my head. I, mm-hmm. I need this. Yeah. This is the one that I need. You know what I mean? So it doesn't have to be everybody else. I mean, it is just me. Boom. And, and, and that actually ties in perfectly. So with, like Ant said, the last fight against Quigley, you were really good. That first half of the fight, it was just, it was a steady offense, but it wasn't, you know, kind of seeking out that big shot against Gabe Rosado. If you go all out for a shot, he can, he can count you. He's an experienced guy. Is that something that you're mentally making sure you're locked in on of, even though it is, like you said, like a now or never, do or die, that you just got to make sure not to, you know, overexert offensively? Well, I, like we like I talked about in the beginning, uh, where I failed was is the lack of consistency. If I would have stayed consistent, yeah, it w- it's an it's a easy fight. Mm-hmm. And I could do that with anybody. If I can do that with him, I can do that with anybody. Um, so I feel like, Obviously, it's not the same fight. It's nowhere near the same fight. But if I'm doing what I have to do and I'm and I'm playing on my game plan and don't let and I don't allow his uh, gamesmanship, I don't allow his his veteran ship, you know, interfere with my game, then. What's going to happen? So it's more about what you, more about what you're gonna do than worrying about what he's gonna do. Well, from absolutely, your and that and that's fighting. I yeah. I have to do whatever I can to stop you from doing what you're doing, and me keep on doing what I need to do, and that's fighting in general. And, and yeah, this fight, you know, the uh, people watch boxing. You know, we're we're friends of Sean's and Shane. Hey, the worst part about being friends of a boxer is box. They're watching them box. It absolutely sucks, man. Yeah, I really don't enjoy these guys' fights until the fight is over. That Sean, I'm not gonna watch yours again. Shane, I didn't watch your last one. It's just it's just the feelings, you yeah. know. But uh, we we hey man, we uh, um, one thing about this fight is he's been through wars. His body's beat up. He's been through hell. He has experience, though. That's the thing. But if you can, I feel like if you can hurt him, yeah, you can break his body down. But you got to be smart getting to it. Yeah. Obviously, I don't know the X's and O's how to get there, but I just know he his body's been through hell compared to yours not. But I think he might he might have some experience that certain things you got to got to be sharp and on top of. And I feel like you can get you know I'm riding with you. You know I me. Mean? I ride with you till the day. I don't He'll care who you're fighting. He'll be there. Yeah. You'll be there. Uh, I'm being there. I'm there too. Yeah, oh, you ain't. You ain't. No, your I, I got a. No, I got a. I got a. We'll be watching San Diego. Yeah, we watch him from San Diego. Yeah. Uh, yeah. From San Diego. You got anything I tell? No, man. Just um, actually, because you guys, you you asked. I was gonna ask about the counter punching, but yeah. Shane already took care of that. Uh, just I, I was I was showing a a lot of love to your dad last week and. It came up. Do you do you feel like your pops? Like it's a little bit of Roy Jones going on. Y'all must have forgot. Like your dad has become a little underrated in, in, in right now. Um, I mean, I don't think he's underrated. I mean, he's getting inducted to the Boxing Hall of Fame this year. Um, alongside Floyd and Ward and Klitschko yeah. and all kinds of great fighters. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I mean, I don't I don't think he's underrated. I think he's, you know, I mean. I feel like whenever I'm around him, like I get people that I didn't even think knew about boxing. Oh my God, that's Shane Mosley. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, so like, I don't think he's underrated. I think, I mean, he's accurately I'm around him. He's, he's looked at as like a legend, man. Like, yeah. So, um, but as far as maybe like the, the boxing community is concerned, I mean, they, I don't think they, they talk about him as much as maybe the likes of like Floyd and Manny and things like that. But, you know, it is what it is. Those guys are kind of fortunate that they uh, fought him when they did. <laughs> well, well, hey, Shane. No, 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 no. If I got something to say to him. For oh, yeah, hey, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, Shane. Close hey, it when, when it, when it, when it, nah, I ain't going to close it. I'm going to let you close oh, it. Oh. All hey, right, hey, hey, Shane, before, when it's all said and done and one day they do a biopic on your dad, you know who's going to play your dad, right? <laughs> you look at you. you yeah. hey, 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 if you go back to an episode of Real Husbands of Hollywood, you'll see Shane Mosley Jr. in there. Yeah. I think he's slick. I caught him the other day. I'll say, is that Shane? Yeah, that's Shane. 
Yeah. Walking I thought you was going to say me. I thought you were going to say me. Why would I say? He'll look nothing like He'll look nothing like your dad. Because I'm going to look more like Shane than Shane. I'm the actor here. Well, you ain't also, no damn actor. Also, to be fair, Sean and I were somewhere like two months ago, and they said, oh. "Hey, that's Shane Mosley over there." So Sean and I just kind of chuckled, and then Shane Junior showed up. We're like, "No, if you want to confuse anyone with him, <laughs> yeah. it's that guy." But no, nah, hey, we was up in we was up in Big Bear, and uh, the the lady that always does my dad's dry cleaning was like, "Oh my God, Shane!" Like she was like, "Shane, oh, you remember like uh, remember, something?" Yeah, and so you remember, was him. She wouldn't let me leave. She couldn't believe that I wasn't Shane. Senior. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, like for real. This is somebody that like saw him all of the time. Like they yeah. don't even look alike. Yeah. I so so I, look I, I looked at Shane one day. I said, I said, hey man, you know people say I look like your dad, right? Uh, he said, hey, yeah, I know. I said, hey, you, hey, you all right with that? He said, man, hey, it is hey, what it is. Hey, <laughs> all, all these people saying that white. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I said, all people saying that white. Oh my no. God! <laughs> Don't do that. All right, all right, cool, cool. Don't all right, cool. That, all right, cool, cool. Hey, so, uh, uh, April 9th, San Antonio. Yeah, yes, sir. Alamo San Dome. Antonio. Boom, oh, boom. Sir. Let's get it. Hey, Shane, I'll be hopefully seeing you this week, man. I'm gonna come check you out at the, at the gym. All right, perfect. All right, should I bring my gear? Is it is it uh, Justin? <laughs> <in the corner laughs> You're wrong, man. <laughs> right, right, just, right. Just though, I just who's who's in corner uh, for the fight officially, man. Uh, so we got Bones Adams. Uh, okay. We got um, who's gonna be cut, man? Stitch. No. Yeah, I think Stitch. And then we got also um, uh, Larry Wade, and then maybe Mike Lenardi. Something like that. There, there you go. go. That was it. We had another team, man. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Perfect. All, All right, big dog. We'll catch you soon. Good All luck. Right. Yeah. All right, say bless, man. Yep. We'll do. Yeah, he, oh, gonna, he gonna he gonna put all that in his hair and comb and get it right. Hey, hey, he's still on it, little man. Hey, 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 what's up? I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm at follow me on IG at with two T's. Let's do all it. Right, let's here, do one. it again. Let's all right, it. just introduce yourself. Okay, and then tell him, and then you tell him what to do. I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Anthony Brenno. Carson A. Merck. Like, subscribe, comment. This is the Porter way.